And in the last video, a lot of you guys liked this uh, Camper Special C20. Right now, we gotta figure out how to lower this thing, and what we're actually gonna do is pull a couple leaves out. The Camper Special obviously gives you um, that towing support with a gigantic leaf pack in the rear, which is bringing us up. Probably the worst model to deal with aftermarket-wise because they don't have there's not a big support for, like for these because this was a custom built like purpose built truck so we're gonna custom lower this thing we're gonna pull some leafs out and try and get this thing with a better um a, a lot better stance you know bring you, you obviously know what we're saying but we're gonna bring this down as low as possible without having to see notch this frame because like i said budget on this project is not not too excessive so we're gonna do what we can to make it look right and, and drive a little bit better because like I said, there's never gonna be a camper in here. There's not gonna be weight like that anymore. So pulling some of those leaves out will probably let, let us ride a little softer and bring us down just a hair without interfering with that frame to axle clearance. So uh, let's get to that. Let's see where we're at. I mean, to the fender, we're at like I guess what sucks is this is like blatantly underneath it. This is like 34 and a half. 34 and a half and 37. So it needs to come down 37 to 34 and a half, two and a half inches. So like you said, take that BVS thing out and then that way it'll take some of the, <laughs> well, to be able to sag more. Two and a half. I thought we were leaving this. As, but maybe we could take that. Maybe that's... That's like, it could be the overload, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It might actually bring it down. Yeah, so like an inch and a half. gonna get this thing on its nuts. I think it's gonna drop it where we want it. Yep. Wait, it hit the point of putting that spring on a spring bed. I know. <laughs> oh, you, gotta, you gotta grind the, wherever the heck the other one. Here you go. That one. It's gotta look like that to go in a hole. And so you do that. Yeah. With this and that, do it all the wrong way, make it the right way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. we got down to four leaves but upon further uh, like examination this leaf pack has eight leaves in it and that side only had six when we started so the truck always leaned we didn't know why now we do so we're gonna take out as many leaves um well I guess we're kind of like guessing but uh, we're 
gonna match the leaf packs and hopefully it sits level and doesn't lean one way or another. Um, we're trying to figure out why they put extra leaves on one side of the truck and not the other side, but um, I guess we're gonna even it out and hopefully she sits right. See if she evens out. Drop her down. Oh! Yeah, sit on it. Oh, and the tailgate? I think that's about, that's what we needed. Oh, yeah. Yep, 35 to the fender. So technically, technically we brought it down. Two inches? Two inches? Dropped it two inches. And that is a technically a half inch higher, but it's really not. All right guys, well, in today's terms, we just reverse leveled this camper special C20. Like we said, um, owner is never putting a camper back in this truck. So this truck is straight up, how it sits is how it's gonna drive. It may not even have a trailer ever attached to it again. Um, but the fitment now, absolutely incredible. I love these old body style trucks um, with the nose just up a little bit. Like we're still about a half inch taller in the rear. So technically it's not actually truly level, but the way these trucks are made, when the rear isn't so high, it looks so aggressive. And especially with it obviously being two wheel drive in a camper, you can't really lift these things anyway. So the correct thing to do is to drop the, you know, drop the rear end down. Maker level now, just an absolutely beautiful stance on this on, on this C20 here. I, I can't get over it. It looks so good. Like I, I couldn't have I couldn't have oh, I couldn't have wished for any better results on this truck um, than what happened here. There was there was eight leafs on that side and six leafs on this side. We didn't even know that until we got to the leaf pack and we're like looking at it and we're like, why does this look so different? Um, the truck did lean, it now doesn't. Both leaf packs are left with four leafs. And the suspension we're mint guys um, coming in here though we took these out of the driver's side because like I said there was eight leaves in there and six on this side but other than that we took this bottom overload leaf off because like I said there's no more like camper gonna be in um, in the bed of this so we don't need the extra support down low and then the first um, the first leaf under Neath the entire leaf pack as well but we had to take this one out as well because as you as you guys remember we measured this and this together is about one inch so by taking this out and this leaf it gave us two inches of total drop because of the support in this first leaf here so we got her all dropped down it looks super good we got more powder coat coming tomorrow um, let me show you these parts really quick. This bumper actually came off the truck. Um, like I said, I, it, it's a camper special and this looks like the, uh, I, obviously it looks made for the truck specifically. Like they made it to go on the truck to fit 
their camper and do everything. It like does not look OEM, but it looks really good now after it got sandblasted, powder coated white. Um, this is snow cone white from Prismatic. Oh, it looks it looks so good. Back here are all the other parts. We got the uh, you know the fan and all the mirror parts. The pulley. We got more pulleys to do. Um, all the camper tie downs. These these are done. Um, but all that got sandblasted, repowder coated. The mirrors are going to look fresh on there. And just fresh white all the way around is really going to pop off that truck. Also, it didn't have a tailgate because it had a camper in it. He found this tailgate, dropped it off. Um, the people who had this, they were trying to like get some dents out or something and cut it. So we're going to have a little bit of body work to do uh, to uh, reassemble this. But this tailgate is going to look pretty good when we're done i mean the best we can get it with something like this going on but it's gonna look really good when we're done and it's gonna look just stellar on the back of that truck and then one more thing here before we actually get to pretty much finishing this truck up um suspension was good brakes are all done new um new shoes all the way around uh new brake cylinders in there as well um drums look decent so we did find this today uh, we're going to replace this because it's leaking and it's all corroded. And like I said, they just want to drive this thing like it should be driven. Um, so literally, fluid flush, refresh everything. Except, like I said, if you saw the last video um, that this was in, pretty much some of the rockers, they were just loose. And what had happened is that it, it had pulled the rocker studs out um, out from uh, where they should be. So we got ARP rocker studs coming. Uh, we're also going to pull everything else. We're actually going to pull this out. And like I said, while this motor's out, we're going to tear it down, reseal it, clean it all up, paint it, powder coat, whatever else we can. Um, these other pulleys and such. Obviously clean up all the grime and the oil from these valve covers being just loose and not connected. Clean all this up, make this thing look and run brand new again. Um, and like I said, while the heads are off as well, make sure everything's good in the cylinders. When we put it back together, we are not going to reuse the head bolts. If you, no matter if it's a, <laughs> no matter if it's a Duramax, if it's a Cummins. Um, like I said, I got ARP 625 head studs in this truck. If I took my head off and put a performance head on it or needed to pull my head for whatever reason, I would order an entire new set of ARP 625. Some of you will call me crazy, but as soon as you torque those head studs down, you put them through, um, you know, the boost pressures and the heat cycles and all that, um, trust me, you want to get a new set. So we're going to pull these head bolts out and we're actually going to replace it, not with ARP head studs, but brand new ARP head bolts. So, you know, they're... They're higher grade, higher strength head bolts, but they're not head studs. Like I said, this isn't a high horsepower build. This is a, you know, pretty much classic semi clean up, get running, not really full restoration, but like partial um, situation going on here. So <laughs> fresh ARP head bolts are going in there, ARP rocker studs. Um, we're going to get all that back together. And like I said, this will all be cleaned up and painted. Um, we're going to powder coat the intake, the valve covers, and like you already saw the air cleaner. Um, that's up there. That's going to look sharp. All powder coat and cleaned up. Brake booster, all that getting cleaned. And um, actually not really replaced. You can see it's leaking from here. So we're going to all need one of those. And overall, it's going to be clean, minty running unit when we're done.
like I said guys in the last video there's just so much going on here Bronco is getting underway soon we're finally kind of rallied up all the parts possible on that um, we're gonna get that painted here shortly trust me you guys are gonna love the color I picked you're gonna love the design I have for this thing um, it's gonna blow lots and lots of minds and I'm, I'm so I'm I am thrilled to bring this one to the table um, but we're gonna get started on that very 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 shortly like I know you guys have been waiting forever so have I we're gonna do that um, hopefully we can dig into that this week get everything stripped off get the body panels kind of placed on there and get that going um, because I want to get that painted so we can get this lifted and the interior all done so um, we're gonna get that going here so so soon just just trust me and it, it'll be worth all the weight it's been so far. And sometime later this week, that's why we can't get so far ahead of ourselves because stuff always keeps breaking. 7388 torque converter, I think. I think it ate the torque converter. I've got full reverse. Um, I used to be able to put it in drive and then my my stall speed increased about 15 to 17. It, started, it bumped up to about 1500. Then it bumped up to about 1700. Um, and now it just doesn't go forward at all. So um, I think the torque converter finally ate itself and um, we got a replacement already. We got to throw that in there this week and hopefully we can be driving that thing again soon. Because if not, I really don't want to rebuild the whole 4R100 um, right now anyway. Um, that's for sure. And um, also the passenger window ate another window motor. So I got to replace that too. Like I said, guys, stuff keeps, you know, it just, you know how it goes. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, shoot a thumbs up. If you haven't been here before, please get down and click subscribe. Drop me a comment if you haven't already. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next one.